it's very common to need to be able to zero out memory, whether you're writing assembly yourself or you're looking at compiled code. In this little snippet, we'll take a look at a few instructions that allow you to do just that. To begin, we'll start with the CLD instruction. This clears the direction flag. We're going to be using the stow SD or store string D word instruction. The direction flag will tell this instruction whether it increments or decrements the destination address. What data we use will be moved into the EAX register. In this case, we're zeroing out memory, so we're going to XOR EAX with itself to zero out the contents of the register. Moving into EDI is the destination address. So in this example, you'll see that some address is a label that points to essentially the beginning of the dot data section. This data includes a number of hex 41 bytes. I've stored those as D words, and we have 24 bytes in total. Next, we move into ECX, the number of times we want to execute the STOW SD instruction. STOW SD allows you to move D words, words, or byte values. In this case, we can zero out the largest amount of memory by using the D word. So in order to determine the number of iterations, we take the size of our destination buffer or memory and divide it by four. In this case, we have 24 bytes, which cleanly divides by six. Rep any will repeat this instruction while not equal. That is, with each execution, the repeat instruction will decrement ECX. STOSD will increment EDI. After the six iterations, EDI will be pointing to the byte after our block of hex 41s. At this point in time, if we had any additional bytes that were not divisible by four, we would need to account for those. For example, if we wanted to overwrite the hex 42, we could use an instruction like move into EDI dereference the value of zero. We can see this play out in a debugger. By setting a breakpoint at the repeat instruction, we'll know that our target address contains all of the hex 41s. Stepping over this, now all of those values have been zeroed out, leaving the 25th byte the hex 42. Looking at the EDI register confirms that EDI was in fact incremented by four bytes with each iteration, leaving it pointing to the final byte. Dereferencing that pointer and moving in zero allows for the final byte to be zeroed out or overwritten. 